Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Bibbity Bobbity Books. My name is Ellie and this is going to be a really exciting start to a video. So basically I am going on holiday with my boyfriend. We're going to Mauritius for 10 days and it's been a long time coming so I'm super super excited about it. Today is finally the day and yeah I'm going to be vlogging it. So this is going to be a bit of a travel vlog but it's also going to be a reading vlog because I'm hoping to read quite a bit whilst I'm away because it's going to be a very chilled holiday. A chilled beachy holiday where I'm just going to relax and not think about work and hopefully do loads of reading and I am so so excited but I'm also a little bit nervous because I haven't been abroad for many years and the whole travelling side of things has got me feeling a little bit anxious but I'm sure it's going to be okay. It's going to be a long travel day though because our flight is 12 hours long and it's a three hour car journey to even get to the airport so it's going to be a whole thing but it's going to be worth it and I'm excited and yeah I really hope you enjoy this video and I guess let's go to Mauritius. And our hotel is ridiculous. It is so nice. And we've been upgraded in our room, which is something that's never happened to me before. So we're in this like ridiculous room and it all just feels very surreal because it's been a long old flight. It's been a long day of traveling and we've both had like one hour sleep. <laughs> so we're both very, very tired. So I don't think this is gonna sink in until tomorrow, but I feel so, so happy and just lucky and to be here so yay holiday time um the flight wasn't actually too bad actually i was dreading it because it was a 12 hour flight but actually it went fairly quickly after i read a book and <laughs> watched a film and tried to get a bit of sleep and stuff it actually wasn't too bad guys this bird song that you can hear <laughs> is the doorbell for our room <laughs> how ridiculous um, they just came and delivered us some little treats, which is so, so sweet of them. All of the staff have been so friendly and lovely so far. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, let me just show you around the room before it gets messy, because it's amazing. Okay, so when you walk in the room, this is what you see. And you come around here, turn to the right, and this is where the bedroom is. Oh my goodness, we've got the biggest comfiest bed that you've ever seen um a nice big fan there some seats and then you just wait until you see the view because it's crazy through here is our view so we can go outside oh, it's just heaven okay and then if we go back here. Got a nice little mirror and stuff there. And then if you go this way, the bathroom is through here. So up these little steps, we've got like a Hello. Danny. I don't know where to go. To <laughs> You're trying to hide in the cupboard. <laughs> oh yeah, we should have gone behind the little curtain. <laughs> so there's like cupboards and stuff behind these curtains. And then in this way, we've got the biggest, deepest bath. It's amazing. We've got two sinks. 
some gorgeous art and the most massive rainfall shower in here. I don't think it's really coming out on camera how big this is. It's like a whole room as a shower. It's ridiculous. And then the toilet's just through here. In there. And that's the room. It's insane. We got upgraded and we're in a deluxe room and just feeling very overwhelmed and very tired. <laughs> Hi everyone, so I am just chilling out here in the sunshine just outside our room and I'm just trying to soak it all in because I'm just feeling so lucky and yeah I just thought that now would be a really nice time to kind of catch you up on the book that I read on the plane because I'm just chilling, we're taking it very easy today to kind of recover from all of the travelling and my partner is just having a shower and freshening up and stuff so I thought now would be a good time to chat about books. So I read such a fantastic book on the plane, um, I always get the name wrong so I need to just find it. Um, so it's called A Psalm for the Wild Build and it's written by Becky Chambers and it's a science fiction novella and it honestly really surprised me. I really enjoyed this one. I didn't know a huge amount going into it so I didn't really have any expectations and I'm quite glad for that in a way because I was just really surprised by how much I enjoyed it. I don't know why because I do love Becky Chambers writing but um, yeah, so this is a, a little novella and in this story we're following a monk who lives in a city and they decide to leave the city, they want to kind of expand their horizons I suppose and to uh, try and find a little bit more purpose I suppose in their life and so they decide to change their vocation, change their job and they become a tea monk which is basically a travelling monk so they uh, travel from village to village in a little wagon and at each village they stop and they set up a little tea stall so they lay out a table and some chairs and just a little safe space for people to come and enjoy a cup of tea and to kind of spill their thoughts so basically people come to the tea monks if they have any problems or issues or they just want a little bit of comfort and a little bit of support and the tea monks will just sit and listen to people and provide them with a specially brewed cup of tea and it's just the most wholesome idea and I really loved our main character I love seeing them traveling through this world because it's really really interesting it's kind of set in a world where humans live very much alongside nature and there's just lots of gorgeous descriptions of kind of these forest villages and it's just so so cool and it's also set in the future so basically our main character on their travels ends up finding a robot and um, the two of them strike up quite an unlikely friendship and they both support each other and it's just so lovely. There's lots of lovely discussions about what it means to um, have consciousness and to be here in the world and you know discussions about what is our purpose and there were so many gorgeous quotes I was underlining and highlighting bits as I read through it and it's quite a quiet book so I wouldn't say it's like anything groundbreaking or earth shattering or anything like that but it's just a cozy comforting read and I thought that it was absolutely perfect for the plane because it really kind of settled my nerves and my anxiety and I just got lost in this really lovely world with this really lovely character and just absolutely loved it so yes I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a quick science fiction something that's going to be uplifting though which I feel like is something that you don't often see in science fiction which is one of the reasons why I love Becky Chambers so yeah it has a really hopeful kind of feel to it and it's just yeah like I say quite a quiet book but just really wholesome and lovely in my opinion so yeah I absolutely loved that one gave it five stars and was so so glad that I picked it up so yeah that's the book that I read on the plane and then I just watched um some movies and things and tried to get some sleep and that. Um, I have brought quite a few books with me here on this holiday because I'm hoping to get quite a lot of reading done but I think I'll chat you through those another time because I'm just going to chill for a bit, try and soak in this absolutely stunning view and yeah just appreciate being here so yeah I guess I'll catch up with you a little bit later.
you've got to walk through the maze mindfully. Now you need to take a moment and probably breathe, I guess, and um, practice being grateful. And then make your way back out. Mindfully, I would imagine. And as you take the steps back, you're supposed to um, detach yourself from your end goal and let the universe handle the details. Well, you haven't finished yet. You've got to tap the triangle again. You need, you need to uh, tap the triangle and let the vibrations fill the air. That'll do it. Congratulations. I'm probably expecting some kind of weird magic to happen today. <laughs> <laughs> some like Freaky you have, Friday situation or something. You have completed one meditation. Hi everyone, so we have just gone and got ourselves some breakfast and now I think the plan is basically to just chill in our room for a little bit and then we're going to go to the beach restaurant I think to get some lunch and then we're going to hang out on the beach this afternoon but yeah we're both still just trying to kind of recover from jet lag because we're both really tired and obviously we didn't sleep like hardly at all um not last night but the night before when we were on the plane so i think our bodies are still recovering so we're still very tired but it is just so relaxing being out here and just looking at this view from our room it's just gorgeous so i'm gonna sit and hang out here and have a little coffee to try and perk myself up a little bit and do some reading so i thought i'd pop on here and have a chat about what i'm gonna be reading so i'm actually fancying a young adult book because i just feel like that's going to be something that's going to be quite like easy to digest. <laughs> so I've actually bought a couple of young adult books with me to, um, on this holiday. Um, the first one is House of Salt and Sorrow. So this is written by Erin Craig. This is a 12 Dancing Princesses retelling and I've heard fantastic things about this one. Um, I think it's supposed to be quite dark and eerie in places and also it's kind of a watery fantasy. So I thought that would be perfect for holiday. Um, the other one is also another watery fantasy. And that is Fable. And this is by Adrian Young. So I think this one is a bit more of kind of like a fun YA. It's about a pirate, I think. 17-year-old Fable, um, who's a pirate. And I think there's a little bit more of like a romance story in this one. So I think I'm imagining this one will be quite fun. And a little bit more light than House of Salt and Sorrows. So yeah, I'm just trying to decide which one to start with. I think I'm going to go for this one just because I have been really, really excited about this one for a long time. So I'm keen to get started. So yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one and just enjoy being here in nice warm weather. And yeah, I'm having such a nice time. It's the first day and I'm having such a nice time already. So yeah, I'm going to do some reading now and I'll check in with you later.
Hi everyone, so it is the evening but I just wanted to pop on here and give you a little bit of a reading update. I've just had such a nice day chilling, enjoying being here. We went to the beach which was really lovely and hung out there and we've just been for dinner and everyone here is so friendly and so lovely so it just makes the experience even better. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just give you a little update. So I have read the first 124 pages of this book. I'm up to chapter 14 and I am really enjoying this one. This is quite dark which I like. Um, it's a young adult story as I said before and it's a 12 dancing princesses retelling and in this book we're following our main character Anna Lee who is a princess and she was one of 12 princesses but now there are only I think eight of them because four have actually died so um four of the eldest princesses have actually died of various different reasons one fell off a ladder lots of different reasons and because of that everybody thinks that their family is cursed and um, everyone is very suspicious of these princesses because they all think something bad's going to happen we're obviously following at anna lee and Annalie kind of accepted the death of the first three daughters as just kind of like really unfortunate and sad kind of incidences but this most recent death that we've had Annalie is quite suspicious of because she just doesn't feel like it's within this person's character she thinks there's something suspicious about the way that they died and so she decides to investigate and we're following her as she's trying to basically find out what happened to the most recent princess that died and it's so atmospheric in this book so these princesses live on an island and they're very much connected to the ocean hence the name house of salt um, so they believe that they were all created from the salt from the sea and when you die you actually go in these coffins in a crypt and then when the coffin like disintegrates the bodies fall into the sea so they believe that they go back to the ocean or back to the salt which is just really cool Cool. and there's been some spooky stuff happening I don't want to say anything to give any spoilers but it's a very creepy and I'm really enjoying that side of it and I can't wait to see where things go I've got a suspicion about what might be happening to these girls but yeah I'm very intrigued and it's very atmospheric and it's also very easy to read as well because they're nice short chapters and yeah I'm just having a great time with it so I would highly recommend this one so from what I've read so far um if you think it sounds interesting so yeah really enjoying this one and I'm looking forward to carrying on with it tomorrow everyone so it's now the evening of the second day i feel like i haven't really filmed that much today because i've just been kind of enjoying being here um but i thought i'd quickly catch you up on my reading because i read quite a lot of house of salt and sorrows today um so i'm now up to chapter 28 which is page 267 um so i think i'll finish this book tomorrow actually and i'm still really enjoying this it's actually quite spooky and I'm really enjoying the mystery element to this story. I thought I knew what was going on and now I'm starting to doubt whether or not my prediction is actually what's going to end up happening. So there's been quite a few sort of twists and turns along the way and the atmosphere in this book is what I'm enjoying the most. It's so atmospheric. There's some really really amazing scenes that are both beautiful and also very eerie and I just love that. 
and I really enjoy our main character and yeah I'm just so excited to find out what happens and to kind of solve this mystery that's been built so yeah I'm really really enjoying this one and yeah in terms of what we've been doing today we've basically just been doing more of the same we've just been enjoying actually being able to relax and not have any worries no work stress or anything and we've been chilling by the beach we went in the pool and it's just been super super lovely we also had an amazing lunch at this restaurant called the bodroom blue which was like a turkish restaurant and the food was absolutely incredible so that was so so good anyway now we are about to head out to dinner and yeah, I think that's all of my updates for now, so I'll speak to you soon. Hey guys, good morning. It is the next day and I've just been sat outside with a little cup of coffee doing some reading and I just wanted to pop on here and give you a little bit of an update about House of Salt and Sorrows because I am now up to page 318 so I don't have a huge amount more of this to go and I am really enjoying this book. It's a lot darker and scarier than I was expecting. Like I had heard from people that it was a bit creepy but honestly some of the scenes and the things that happen are just so creepy and they will really stick with me i feel like there's lots of images that i will just like remember for ages so if you're looking for something to pick up this halloween season or this autumn definitely consider this book because it is actually surprisingly creepy and yeah i'm just really enjoying it there's been lots of twists and turns some things i've guessed some things i haven't and i'm just really excited to see how everything wraps together i feel like a lot of the fantasy elements are definitely coming into play more throughout the second half of this book and I'm really enjoying it I'm loving the world building as well and it's just such a fascinating world and the way that things are described as well is fantastic like it's such an imaginative world like um, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that some of the princesses have been sneaking out at night and going to these balls I think it might even say that on the back of the book um, that there are these glittering balls that they attend and the way that they're described is so amazing like it just sounds really magical and just creative but there's also that edge of creepiness and I just love that in books so yeah I'm super enjoying this one and I can't wait to see how everything wraps up because there's still quite a few loose ends and things that I'm just like not sure about so I'm hoping that it's going to be a really satisfying ending so yeah I can't wait to finish this one I'll probably finish it quite soon to be honest but um yeah I just had to pop on here and just give you an update because I'm really enjoying it and yeah, I can't wait to see how it ends.